Here at Mama Natural, we like to talk about eating unprocessed real foods. You know, the kinds that our great-great-grandmothers ate. But what if we went back further, a lot further? What if we went back to the Middle Ages? Back in the Middle Ages in Europe, what you ate largely depended upon how rich you were. Poor people ate a whole lot of barley. Barley bread, porridge, gruel, and pasta. The rich ate wheat and meat, which was expensive and prestigious. Wild game was common, as was pork and chicken. Vegetables were considered peasant food. So along with their grains, peasants ate carrots, cabbage, beets, onions, and garlic. In the south of Europe, fruits of choice were pomegranates, lemons, bitter oranges, and grapes. Further north, apples, pears, plums, and strawberries were more common. Plates were non-existent, and forks weren't invented yet. Since clean water was hard to come by, most people drank up to a gallon of wine or beer a day. Common seasoning for upper-class people were black pepper, vinegar, saffron, and ginger. Cheese was the most common source of animal protein for the poor, and many of the varieties would look familiar today, like Parmesan and Brie. Almonds were commonly used as thickener in soups, stews, and sauces, and almond milk was hugely popular. Cow milk, however, wasn't that popular because it would spoil quickly. Peasants consumed 4,000 calories a day, but they burned much more than that in manual labor. Monks, on the other hand, consumed 6,000 calories a day on their normal days, and 4,500 when they were fasting. Prisoners, if they were lucky, received watered gruel, or they would snack on bugs and mice. Needless to say, the common people were quite thin. However, the monks and the wealthy people were obese. But then again, plumpness was considered a virtue. There you have it, food in the Middle Ages. How about a special thumbs up for Papa Natural's awesome acting skills? Love it. But I'm curious, which of those two diets looks more like yours? The rich people's fare, which was meat and wheat, or the poor people's diet, which was largely vegetarian. Share it with us in the comments below, and thanks for tuning in.